friends, and welcome to Stan's Collector's Universe. And as you can see in front of you, I got a couple bags of older, folding classic, uh, traditional pocket knives. I thought I'd share these with you all. I paid, uh, if you're curious, just under $5 each plus shipping. So, uh, I want to say I paid $6 a knife. I don't think I really did, because $6 a knife on 15 would be... Yeah, I didn't. I paid like five twenty-five a knife, because uh, I combined shipping. So, I just thought I'd share these. These are all supposed to be American-made. Some are in pretty good shape, some are in not-so-good shape. But, you know, I thought it'd be fun to work on how to clean knives up. So, what we'll do is we'll start off first with uh, the dealer lot of five folding knives. We'll just dump them out, and we'll just start... We'll start looking. Okay, first up, looks like a cool little hawkbill type knife here. Not too bad. Oh, okay, nope, nope, it's not a hawkbill. This is a Klein Tools. Uh, somewhere USA, I can't read what it says. Ithaca, I want to say, maybe? Ithaca? Chicago, USA! Boy, I can read good. Where the hell did I get Ithaca? Chicago. But just kind of a cool looking knife. I have no idea how old it is, but... You know, it's a USA-made blade. That's kind of cool. I'll do a little cleanup on that, and then we'll, you know, let it come out here. This is the one my wife liked the best. She really liked that scroll work, that tool work and stuff. She thought that looked really cool. Um, not sure what manufacturer this is. See if I can get the main blade out, because that's probably where they'll have any information. It just says stainless there. Uh, does that say something? Nope, just a scratch. I'll keep, oh boy, that one's way off where it's supposed to go. There we go. I had I had to give it an, as, some assistance. <laughs> well, that blade's nice and clean. Hopefully this camera's better for everybody, man. This one is like, well, that's kind of cool. What is that, a fork? I'm going to fork somebody to death. Bottle opener. Huh. Yeah, this is a new camera. Oh, that is wicked looking. This is a new camera. Already did that one, did that one, did that one, did that one. Did I do that? Yeah, I did that one. The heck is this? Oh, Skizzers. That's kind of cool. Oh, I did not do this one. Oh, look at that punch. Wow. Yeah, I don't know if this was necessarily American made or not, but... Build quality is pretty freaking good. Wish I, I might have to look up and learn more about this. It might be on there somewhere. Kind of cool looking knife. I mean, like I said, my wife really thought that scroll work was pretty cool. Next one up, this is why I bought this. It's Frostwood. I know you all know I'm a dork when it comes to Frostwood. I don't know if this is American made or not. Cherokee, I can almost guarantee it is not. Uh does have the solids and steel. Trying to see if it says China under there. No. And it's probably why the person selling them. It's a second hand place. Didn't realize this was a China blade. You know, because it didn't say all USA made. It said, you know, uh, this is probably a frost cutlery. But that's okay. It's a big trapper. I like my trappers. You know that. I like my frostwood. So a little cleanup on this. And that knife will be gorgeous. These two are interesting. I think this is an imperial. No, this is a colonial. Trying to get the colonial proverb, pro, pro, blah, yeah, USA five fifty. I talk gooder, but this is just a cool jackknife. We'll clean her up. And we'll see what we got. Kind of cool though, huh? It's kind of fun looking at some of these old patterns. This one here is kind of. I mean, it's definitely faults. Uh, faults what they're trying to do pro back springs are pretty rusty but you know i thought i'd give it a mineral oil bath and we'll see what we got what's that say hammer brand oh that's cool hammer brand i'm pretty sure that's what that says i'll have to get that cleaned up but i'm 99 percent sure that's hammer brand that's an old usa maker there this knife could be could be pretty old or it could be not you know i mean this just like i said this was mostly just kind of fun let's see what we got now we'll go to the second bag 
you know, sometimes it's fun, if you, especially if you can get stuff inexpensive enough to just kind of have a little adventure, you know, and see what you got. <laughs> okay, this one I've been interested in because it looks like the it's cracked. It is not. It's just the the uh, the uh, the the uh, handles the way they look. Pretty cool looking knife. I really liked it. This looks like Powercraft USA. Interesting. Don't know what Powercraft. Ooh, that blade's had some usage. It's, it's been sharpened only a few thousand times. I tell you though, an old knife. Walk and talk's pretty doggone good. Here's a cool looking, um, oh gosh, what am I trying to say? Stockman. Frontier. It's pretty cool looking. Wow, this is nice. Wow, listen to that. Oh, that's amazing. On these old knives. I've done nothing to them. They were in the bot. You've seen them. Look at that. Look at that build quality. And you know, you got to consider, this is probably, I'm going to guess, at least 50 years old. Okay, here's kind of a cool one. This looks like an old timer. I hope this flashing out that I see on the screen is only on the, oh, broken blade. Darn. I didn't see that in a thing. This one will require some cleaning up. This will, you know what, this one will be a good, good project knife. I can clean it up and see what you can do to knives that are in this type of shape. And not, what's the word I'm looking for, devalue them. You know what I mean? You know, because um, yeah, this thing is rough. Yeah, this will be a fun one just to see what I can do with, uh, you know, cleaners and stuff. And see how far you can take them and not like totally ruin them. Okay, this one's missing the shield. That's kind of a bummer, but I might have to make like a stands, have my wife make me something on her cricket that will fit in there. I'll say like SCU or something. That'd be kind of neat, huh? Craftsman USA. That's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. Oh my gosh, even that. This is a big knife. That could use, could use a little cleaning. Wow, that's kind of cool. Look at that build quality, though. My gosh. That's just, that's, I tell you, there's something to be said about these older knives. This looks like an equal end jack. What brand is this? Iracuse, e e e made in USA. That blade's had a little sharpening done to her. That's okay, though. Like I said, I knew what I was buying here. The, the seller was not trying to be, you know, sneaky. Oh, that, that's a good one right there. See how rusty that is? This will be another good one that I can practice my cleaning techniques to get blades moving good again. But you know what? That's a cool-looking older knife. You have here. Ooh, that one spring's a little rough there, but that's okay. This is a... Wards. Oh, my God. Montgomery Wards. Oh, that's a name you haven't heard. Honestly, if you're, you're probably pretty much younger than me, I'm 51. I was born in 72. You probably don't even know what the hell Montgomery Wards is. And that's not meant to be mean. That's just meant, you know, it's a brand that's <laughs> been long gone. Okay, this one's kind of cool looking. That is cool looking handle. It's a false like pearl type thing. But this is just a cool little pen knife. What's this? Imperial, Providence, Rhode Island. Oh, ho, 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 ho. that thing's a freaking guillotine. Did you hear that? Wow. Wow. What a great looking little knife. Cool, that's going to be fun. This one here, these last three are the ones that got my most curiosity because there's a Girl Scouts and a Cub Scout knife. But this one here says Mount, Mount Lab UP Church. And I'm wondering if that's Mount Lebanon Upper Peninsula Church in Michigan. I'll have to check to see because I think there's a Mount Lebanon up there. I'm not sure. Oh, you know what? No, Mount Lebanon. That is the name of but UP Church. Might be the Upper Peninsula, but I don't know. But still, what really got my attention is Bowling League 4748. Let's see if I can get that in there. 
So that's telling me this knife is at least from 1947, 48. This is a Cutmaster Utica, U.S. New York, USA. Could definitely use a little cleaning. The, the pivots are not exactly uh, pivoting. <laughs> okay, where's the... Now Nick found it finally. Yeah, but this one could use a little cleaning up. But I just thought that's kind of cool, you know, because that right there tells me that this is from 47, 48, 1940. That's pretty cool. It'll be fun to clean that up, and I think I'll make like a little series and keep you guys involved. Then we got this Girl Scout knife. And this piqued my interest because my wife was a uh, troop leader from the time our daughter was in daisies all the way up to seniors or whatever the highest rank is. And then she stayed uh, as a troop leader for years uh, after my daughter graduated high school and was no longer a Girl Scout to, uh, you know, help out other troops. Uh, it's in pretty good shape. It's got, it's been used. You know, whoever owned this, the young ladies or whatever, they used it. Utica Featherweight. But I thought this would be a fun one to kind of just clean up a little bit. I don't want to go too nuts with it. You know, but just, again, just, just to find out what's what. But I thought that was pretty cool. Thought that was pretty cool, you know, Girl Scout knife, so cool. And then a Cub Scout knife here. I've never owned a Cub Scout knife. I've owned a couple Boy Scout knives, but never a Cub Scout knife. Uh, I'm sure if I got in touch with Tobias, he could tell me a little bit about the age of this and stuff. But I'm going to do a little work on it myself, figure it out, see if I can figure it out myself. And if I'm wrong, hopefully Tobias will come into the uh, video when I do that on this knife and say, Stan, you're a moron. <laughs> you're way off. Oh, that's got a half stop. I didn't even notice that. That's awesome. Okay. What blade is this? Okay, a little punch. A little owl. Owl. Not owl. Hoo hoo. <laughs> Sorry. I'm in a goofy mood this morning. Kind of down a little bit. But, you know, the thing is with uh, anybody who's ever dealt with depression knows that when depression's kind of got you, you just got to go do something. You know, get... Don't let it win, is what I'm trying to say. i got to see if i got something down here, a piece of wood or something down here. I can get underneath that and pry that up because I don't want to put metal on metal. I can't seem to get my fingers in this to go in that th nick there. Well, it looks like it's a bottle opener or screwdriver can lifter, you know, type thing. I just can't get, I don't want to put metal on metal because I don't want to take a chance of boogering it. Well, maybe this will work. i got a bobby pin here. Yeah, that'll work. Oh, come on. Ooh, okay, it's not stuck. It's just, it's just a super strong back spring. Holy shnikes. Put that owl away before it pokes me, but yeah, cool. So yeah, it's going to be fun trying to figure out what's, what's what on all these. You know, I'm just impressed that that has a half stop. You know, I'm going to have to fix the liner lock because it's not locking. I don't know if it's, it looks like it might be pressed down a little bit, like it got bent. But yeah, I'm going to have some fun with these. So yeah, I'm just going to put some of them back out here to look at a little bit. We'll just have some, we'll finish off this video, just kind of some of my favorites, you know. We'll finish off this video. Um, and uh, yeah, we just just having some fun looking at some knives early in the morning, you know. That's what it's about. Well, early in the morning for me. I don't know when this video is going to post, so. Thank you all for joining me today. It is truly, truly appreciated. Uh, with that being said, please like, subscribe, and leave comments. And live long, prosper, and collect your own way.